connected to languages at Warwick, there's an ePortfolio tool called Mahara. Many of our courses use that as part of the accreditation of their language learning. So I've logged into Languages at Warwick with the test student account, and I'm on the home page, my home. Now, by default, there's a set of blocks on that page, and I've scrolled down to one called Network Servers, where you can see a link here to the Mahara ePortfolio. If I click that link, I will go through Languages at Warwick and out into a private space. So Mahara, by default, is a private space. It's a place for you to uh, reflect on your learning. It's a place for you to connect with each other and engage. It's a, a personal space um, where you can make some things uh, viewable to others, but by default, everything is um, private to you. So you can see my profile has carried through, and Mahara knows who I am. And you can see that I've logged in from the Warwick Moodle number two, which is Languages at Warwick. If I want to get back to that, I'll just click that link. The beauty of Mahara is the ability to make your own content and then to manage it in a portfolio. But you can also make yourself a group. So if you are, for example, um, a Russian student of French and you know other um, students of French you want to connect to, you can make your own group and invite people who are on Languages at Warwick to join you. And that will be a private group for you to make. It's very easy, and there is a detailed tutorial to um, show you how to do that, but it's as simple as creating groups. You can also find your friends and um, join some of the help groups um, that exist here. So this is a social space, and hopefully you'll find it useful um, as a partner to your language learning. Um, there is a, a My Portfolio tool, which is also used um, centrally, uh, which is built on the same tool. So if you're very um, familiar with using that, you will find this integrated Mahara very easy to use too.